Hey guys, it's nice to be here at KFC. What I'm doing here today is that uh, I'm doing something on the um, improving the speaker load interface. Uh, this is uh, what I'm going to do next uh, to improve the uh, test interface of the amplifier. So, here it is. I uh, write it down here is the speaker load test interface. So what I'm going to do in here is that I'm, I'm going to standardize my test uh, using BNC connectors and uh, right banana plugs so that I'm not going to have those flyovers as uh, I had it in the first test. Uh. So I'm enjoying my coffee while I'm thinking something nice and something to improve my testing on a VR100 Watt concept project. Just for the record, here is my setup before. So I have here is speaker output and then um, I tap the oscilloscope probe and then we have the load. So it's a kind of messy thing here. So I want to improve that. I had here some uh, BNC connectors uh, and uh, I'm going to implement this form when I go in the front. the speaker load test interface it has been completed and have my initial test now ready for action let's see it here it is it's easy now to connect the voltmeter measuring the voltage swing at the resistive load and I'm measuring here like 5.89 volt RMS it's neat now and lean in my table there is no much of the flying wires in here and uh, well, it's great. You can see that it's actually my uh, the resistor is burning. You can see the smoke in there. Oh gosh! And if I need uh, a higher output uh, resistive load, then I just have to connect it right here, like that. And the other one is in here. And it is also possible that uh, I can uh, just use the external load here without this uh, onboard load by just switching here. And there you are. Perfect and uh, easy to use. Here you go. Thanks to the speaker load test interface. Uh, my, my table is now lean and clean. Mm -hmm. 